So we know what the Court of Appeal decided in Rie. On the facts of the case, the three judges said that the operation to separate the twins should be authorised. Does this case, however, have other implications for the criminal law? Can we apply it to other contexts? Now, interestingly, when you read the case, you'll see that at least two of the judges say that they are only concerned with the facts of that case concerning conjoined twins and the particular medical context of acting for reasons of necessity. But can a decision of the court be applied more widely? Arguably, this decision is really important for the criminal law because it recognises that necessity could be a defence for murder more generally. Every case of murder may have a defence of necessity. Now that is a bit of a jump, but if we are able to apply the decision of the Court of Appeal in that way, what is the justification for doing so? What it means is there may be circumstances where it is appropriate for the court to say where somebody killed somebody intending to kill them or to cause serious injury, that they were acting for the greater good and therefore they shouldn't be convicted of a crime at all. Now that's significant because if they don't have a defence of necessity and don't have any other defence to murder, they would be convicted and the sentence for murder is the mandatory life sentence. Potentially, they could serve the rest of their life in prison, although the reality is that they would serve a period of time in prison and then they would be released. But still, there would be a significant punishment. So a very important part of considering about the implications of this particular case is trying to work out whether a particular defendant who has intentionally killed somebody should be punished for what they've done. Now, if their killing somebody results in the saving of a number of other people's lives that would otherwise be lost, if there is a net saving of life, maybe we can justify acquitting the defendant for reasons of necessity and saying that the net saving of life justifies the killing of one person, even though that was an innocent person. You could even apply this sort of argument in re a itself. For example, bearing in mind that the weaker twin was destined to die, whatever happened, it's possible to argue that the court, by authorising the operation, was acting for the greater good, far better to have an operation which results in the saving of one life rather than two lives being lost. Now this raises some difficult ethical and moral issues as to whether it is appropriate for the court to effectively say that one life is worth more than another. But maybe that's what the Court of Appeal was actually saying in Rie. The stronger twin's life was worth more than that of the weaker one simply because the stronger twins stood a much greater chance of living a full and happy life, whereas the weaker twin's life was going to be a great deal shorter. Now there are other aspects and implications of this decision that are worth bearing in mind. If we accept that this case now recognises that necessity is a defence to murder outside of the context of conjoined twins and outside of a medical context, how do we actually define the defence of necessity? How would you define necessity? Also, just think about other solutions to this problem. 
Maybe if we have a defendant who has intentionally killed for the greater good, perhaps rather than acquitting that defendant, perhaps the defendant should be convicted of murder but the mandatory life sentence should be abolished. And maybe it's more appropriate for the judge to think about the most appropriate sentence to be imposed, which may be sending to prison for a period of time, but the judge should have a discretion in determining the appropriate sentence. So in other words, when you are considering a case like this, on its own very peculiar and very difficult facts, you always have to think about the implications of the decision and that raises bigger policy and moral and ethical issues.